Hey, Psych2Goers, here we are with another brand new video. Let's begin. Does motivation feel like your nemesis lately? Is your drive to achieve your goals and objectives weakening as time goes by? Believe it or not, this happens to everyone. You might experience this when feeling stuck and unable to move forward in life. You might still experience this even when you're steadily moving towards your goals. Motivation is affected by a huge number of factors, with each person's motivation depending on different ones. However, there are some common habits that can easily kill your motivation. Before we proceed, please remember this video is for information purposes only and should not be used for any self-diagnosis. With that said, here are six habits that are killing your motivation. Number one, you try to jump straight into your final goal while skipping the process. How often do you envision yourself already reaching your goals and succeeding? Do you skimp on necessary steps in an attempt to fast track? Skipping through the process might make you even more frustrated because you still don't seem to be getting the desired results. And of course, not having a proper foundation for what you want to be is the perfect recipe for failure. You might start feeling as if your goal is completely out of reach and start to lose faith in yourself. Covering the fundamentals sure helps prepare you for the journey ahead. When you have the ground covered, you're equipped with the knowledge of what to expect and when, shaping a roadmap for the journey. Number two, you desire to be perfect. Are you someone who has always tried to do things perfectly? Why should I do it if it's not gonna be perfect? Or why should I waste my time and effort on something I won't be satisfied with? Are these beginning to sound like the motto of your life? Pursuing perfection can be one of the quickest ways to kill your motivation. Your pursuit of perfection can make you not want to do anything at all. Expecting the first attempt to be perfect and falling short can be demotivating. Starting with a rough draft and improving on it until it reaches a point where you are satisfied will surely move you closer to your goal. Number three, you compare yourself with others. How easily do you compare yourself with others when doing something? Does the grass seem greener on the other side? Comparing your success with others can sidetrack you and make you lose your motivation. You think about all the steps and effort that you have to make to reach your goals while others seem to have achieved it with lesser effort. This can foster feelings of discontent and resentment. So you end up focusing on these emotions and losing sight of what truly matters. Treating someone as your mentor because they've succeeded in reaching a goal that you would like to reach is very helpful, as long as you don't lose track of yourself and your own ambitions. After all, all of your attention should be focused on building your own success. Number four, you get distracted and procrastinate. How often do you stop what you're doing to scroll through social media? In an era where distractions can be found literally anywhere you look, losing motivation and getting sidetracked has never been easier. You constantly feel like you get distracted and start procrastinating just when it matters the most. This may delay you to a point where moving forward seems impossible to you. Distractions are almost unavoidable, but a break is essential. So it's imperative to figure out when your break is more of a distraction. It will happen from time to time, and even the best of schedules can fail. Sticking to a schedule that is less rigid and has breathing space allows you to remain refreshed and is a great way to keep the distraction cravings in check. Number five, you don't have a plan. You wanna do something, but you don't know where to start. Do you have a clear goal, but have no idea how to reach it? Been there, done that, like all of us, right? Not having a plan to follow can be one of the main things killing your motivation. When all you know is the final result, but not which step to take to get to it, it blurs your vision. But not having a plan does not mean forsaking the goal, really. Alternatively, it helps to start with small, achievable goals that you think will move you one step closer to your final goal. When you overcome these small hurdles that you set yourself, it will boost your confidence and motivation. And number six, you neglect your health. How often do you pull all-nighters? How much priority do you put on your health? Not being in a proper health condition can easily kill your motivation. When your body does not have the energy necessary for you to do tasks, how can you then take steps towards your goals and objectives? This can be very demotivating because you feel like you have the right mindset and the right intentions, but your body can't keep up. Prioritizing your health, be it through your diet and your daily routines, will not only help with your motivation, but also improve every single area of your life. Finding the right motivation is a highly relative process. It's normal to run low on it at times. 
What matters is that you don't let it run dry. These points mentioned aim to show the general direction to consider when you feel you're running low on motivation. These are intended to tick off the appropriate places you should look into. There is no magic spell that works for all. Rather, it's dependent upon how these can be customized to suit your own needs. Do you think we covered all the points? What are some ways you use to refill your motivation levels? Leave a comment down below about your experiences if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there looking to refill their motivation. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.